I've got the FWC investigative report and its conclusion has Dale Hosfield's children frustrated. They say there's not enough evidence to conclude he fell off his boat and plenty of suspicious circumstances to suggest foul play. And what really surprised them found buried in a supplemental report. Apparently there is surveillance video of something or someone mysteriously going overboard. 911, where's your emergency? It's in South Melbourne Beach on the ocean. There is a boat that has washed ashore. There's nobody in it. So where was Dale Hosfield? The 68-year-old Vero Beach man last seen in good spirits, leaving the Taylor Creek Marina in Fort Pierce May 18th. His boat washing ashore four hours later, 50 miles north, the engine still running the throttle and gear. Dale's clothes, wallet, cell phone, and dentures were on the boat. But Dale, a strong swimmer in good health, had disappeared just offshore. Now, almost four months later, a newly released investigative report by the FWC concludes this incident is believed to be a boating accident with the operator and sole occupant falling overboard. It is ridiculously frustrating. Dale's children, Gabriel Whalen and Melinda Hosfield, point to what they call suspicious circumstances, details they believe investigators ignored. Two weeks after Hosfield took out a life insurance policy, he left the marina at noon all alone, which was unusual for him. He didn't buy ice or beer like he usually did. And instead of staying inshore, his boat's GPS shows he went east 22 nautical miles before heading north past Melbourne, making a sharp U-turn and heading south along the coast. According to FWC, at 5.08 p.m., about 525 yards offshore, the boat suddenly slowed from 31 miles an hour to zero. And two minutes later, witnesses found it washing the shore. But it's, uh, it's a really nice boat <laughs> and uh, kind of scary because one of the motors was still running. Mysterious for sure. However, one investigator writes, I did not see anything on the boat that would indicate foul play or any kind of struggle. But what investigators did find shocked Gabriel when he noticed it buried in the report. One line saying, at approximately 1705 hours, video surveillance monitoring the area captured an unidentified object presumed to be Hosfield fall overboard and enter the Atlantic Ocean, causing a splash. And I don't know how someone makes that assertion or presumption um, just because um, there isn't blood on a boat. Gabriel says someone could have boarded the boat, killed his father far offshore, and then jumped off when the boat slowed and swum to shore. He wants to see the surveillance video of the mysterious splash himself. If it was him, I'd really like to see it uh, because if it was him, then um, going to the water, then I guess, I guess we'll be done here. Not fully done, however, Gabriel is considering hiring a private detective to dig into the circumstances surrounding Dale's life in the weeks leading up to his disappearance. If you saw Dale Hosfield, please call detectives at the Indian River Sheriff's Office or FWC. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.